Hey guys, thanks for joining me with my top 10 Vinylmation video. I saw a video from Sprinkled Dreams on her YouTube channel challenging herself to pick her top 10 Vinylmation, and she challenged the viewers that watched that video to pick theirs too, so I decided that I thought it would be fun and I would challenge myself to do the same thing and pick my top 10. It took me a while to narrow it down. I have over 100 Vinylmation and I love all of the ones that I own in my collection, but after spending some time thinking about it, I did narrow it down to 10. So I guess we will start right here at the front. This is the road sign, and that is from Park 6. Um, the, it's just the regular one, Magic Kingdom and Epcot, but this one made it because I thought it was um, a really cool idea for a Vinylmation. Anyone who spent a lot of time at Disney will remember these road signs. They have Mickey's ears on the top and there's some pretty cool bright colors. Um, it's something that I definitely remember from all of my trips so I thought it was a really neat idea thinking outside of the box when they picked that vinyl. Um, I love the way they've done it. I think it's come out fantastically so that's why I picked that one. So now I guess I'll start over this side and we'll begin on the left here. This is Kali River Rapids from Animal Kingdom and I just think the level of detail on this is absolutely incredible. Um, I can't believe they fit that much on a three inch figure and again a pretty cool idea. They could have gone more with maybe like the raft itself. It is a raft ride but they picked the sign for Kali River Rapids and this is taken from that. I think that was a great way to capture the ride in Vinylmation form, and I think this has come out just perfect. I really love the ride too, and Animal Kingdom in general, so that's why this one made it. So now I guess we'll move over here to the clock from the Haunted Mansion. And I'll just turn it around for a second so that you can see the back, because that's pretty cool too. And everything they put into this vinyl is why I love it and why it had to be in my top 10. I just think it's incredible. So much detail. Again, something pretty memorable from the ride when you go past the clock in your dune buggy and it's striking 13 with that shadow of a hand that comes across it. I thought that was awesome. Great idea, great vinyl. Love the way it's been executed. So that had to go in my top 10 too. Back here, this is the chef. He's a robot chef from the attraction Horizons. Um, Horizons was at Epcot. It was in Future World. It is where Mission Space is now. That's where Horizons used to be. I don't remember the year that it closed off the top of my head, but um, I rode this when I was little. It had um, a space section to it, and um, it was showing scenes of the future. And this little guy was a robot chef. Um, in the kitchen cleaning up some stuff and I remember that scene. I really remember that scene and I couldn't believe that that ride had been honored with its own Vinylmation and immortalized and so love 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 the figure. Love the metallic paint. I think that's really cool. The use of clear is really cool too in his ears. You can see they've incorporated the chef hat right there and behind him he had shelves that had like cups and plates and glasses on it and you can see that in his ear. I think this has just been done amazingly well. I was really impressed so he made it to my top 10 also. Moving along right here, this of course is a Dole Whip. I love, love Dole Whips. I can't get enough. I have one every single time I go. thought it was super cool that they had a Vinylmation made of a Dole Whip. Very memorable, very cool. So love the bright colors, love Dole Whips themselves, had to have this figure in so it's also in my top 10. Then right here we have the Space Cruiser from Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. You can see the logo on his front right there and the Z's in his ears that you have to aim for. I'll show you the back of him too because he's pretty cool. The batteries right there in Galactic Hero. I'm not sure if you can see that. The the scoring chart on his back there. He made it to my top ten because I just think it's a great figure. Again, love the bright colors. I think it's really cool. 
and it, it's just incorporated so much of the ride. It's supposed to be the ride vehicle, but it also has the Z's that you're aiming for, and the batteries, and the logo, and the score chart at the end. I mean, I just can't, can't believe that they were able to put so much of the ride into a 3-inch figure. So, love the ride, love the figure, that made it also to my top 10. Then going up here to the back, I'll lift this up so you can see. This is the Cranium Command set from Park 14, was released last year. Um, I haven't taken these guys out of the box yet, but I will. It's not the most exciting box, so I think there will come a time when I will take them out so that you can see them better because they have a lot of detail in their ears that you can't really see right now while they're in their box. The guy on the left is General Knowledge, and the guy on the right is Buzzy. Cranium Command, if you're not familiar with it, it was a show that played in the Wonders of Life Pavilion when that was open at Epcot. And I thought it was really cool and really funny. I listen to it sometimes on YouTube and still find it hilarious. The jokes never get old. Loved the show. And these figures, I just can't believe, again, the detail. Oh my gosh. General knowledge, his expression, his nose, his facial features, his outfit, and the same with Buzzy too. They've got his smile. Maria Clapsis designed these. Buzzy's smile is just perfect too. Um, I love the hat accessory that they've given Buzzy, like he wore in the show. And again, like I said, their ears you can't really see, but they are packed with detail too. So they're amazing, and they had to make it into my top 10. Just love this set from the minute I saw it. Had to have it. So that makes it in there too. And then finally, the last two, Carl and Ellie from Pixar 1. They also, this is Ron Cohey designed these sets and I fell in love with them too. Up is one of my favorite movies and these two, look how cute they are. And they look just like they do in the movie. And again, these guys I think I might take out of the box at some time. The box is kind of cool. I like it. You can see all the detail of the Pixar characters in there. But like I said about the Korean Command set, you really can't see all of the detail that they have in their ears. Ellie has an adventure book and Carl has the spirit of adventure written in his, but you really can't see it. So I think I'm going to have to take them out of the box so that I can see that properly because I'm missing a lot of detail there. It's just... It's incredible. It's amazing. So they had to have a mention in my top 10 too. So guys, those were my top 10 Vinylmation. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you Sprinkle Dreams for the idea. This was a great challenge. I had a whole lot of fun. And if anyone else is watching this, do the same thing. See if you can do it. Pick your top 10 Vinylmation and make a video for me to see. Thank you guys for watching.